Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. These readings are general, so like every other YouTube reading out there, they may or may not resonate with you. I say this every time just in case you're new here. Um, if you find the reading doesn't fit your story after a few minutes, then I recommend checking out another reading on my channel with a title that stands out to you. This way there was a reason why you clicked on this reading today and you will find a message that you're looking for. Hopefully this reading does the trick though. Uh, we're going to get started by pulling some angel tarot cards just to see a theme, uh, to give us some overall guidance and direction in the reading. Then we'll move into a 10-card tarot spread using the Smithwaite Tarot. <clears throat> when I was shuffling the decks, I did see the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, which kind of told me that like a healing process is going slowly, slow to heal, takes time, takes effort. And I also saw the World card and the Seven of Cups, which kind of showed me that like the universe is trying to say to you that the whole world is available to you. There's so many options out there. Uh, there's so many possibilities, you know. We have the Nine of Water, which is the Nine of Cups in this deck. This card says your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Very beautiful. We also have the Queen of Fire, which is the Queen of Wands in this deck. This card can represent a person who is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. It says on the bottom of the card to stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So it's a very confident energy. This could talk about making your own dreams happen. We have the Magician underneath the bottom of the deck. This card says you are ready, you have the resources or ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So it's very much true. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed in the current energy. We have the Fool card reversed, influencing that energy. We have the Justice card in the middle of the reading. <clears throat> we have the Nine of Swords reversed in the recent past. That's interesting. We have the Three of Swords here in the distant past. We have the High Priestess reversed in the future. We have the star reverse representing you. We have the lover's card in your environment. We have the devil. Interesting. Uh, right in the fears and desires position. And the hanged one is as the outcome. There's been a lot of major arcana in the past few readings which is interesting. The whole bottom row is Mage Arcana with Justice anchoring that energy on top. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to take a look at this, folks, and then we'll get started. Okay, for a lot of you, you've suffered a lot. You've suffered very painful wounding losses. Um, you've gone through a lot of stress and anxiety. You have your traumas, you know. And as a, I won't, I don't want to say reward, but as compensation for what you've gone through, the universe is trying to balance the scales. The, you know, they might not be able to fix the situations that you've been in. They might not be able to correct the past. But what they can do is create a whole new future for you if you're willing to pursue it. Um, they want you to keep your heart chakra open. 
and they're going to be bringing in a relationship here for you that will facilitate keeping your heart open. You might already be in this relationship or this could be something new. It's all, There's some bitterness here in this reading. Um, it's kind of saying that you may be a little bit bitter about what has happened to you and the things that have happened around you. And the universe is kind of saying, you know, how can we... It, it's not like they're telling you to be more compassionate towards yourself in the situation, but they're encouraging you to be more ca compassionate towards yourself in the situation. Um, which might not seem like the first thing you want to do when you're trying to, you know, remedy bitterness. Bitterness comes from jealousy, envy, from loss. Um, but, uh, If you have compassion for other people involved in the situation, you may see that they are operating out of their lower vibrational tendencies. They don't, you know, they whether they knew what they were doing or not, these people that may have been involved in your pain in the past, they um their their time will come. You know, they'll run into their own blockages, they'll run into their own barriers. They're operating from a lower vibrational state. And they may not have been at the same time, too. Maybe there just were some differences between the two of you. Maybe that it was the situation or the relationship itself that was toxic. And these these could be great people, you know, that you've been dealt with. But um, the pain that was caused in the dynamic, that that is undeniable. And justice is here saying the universe wants to balance that. How is it going to do that? It's going to bring in a new relationship into your life. One that can help you heal. One that uh, will give you the attention that you deserve. And um, you don't see this coming with the High Priestess reversed in the future position. Because right now, you, you might be in a state of kind of depression or having lost hope in some way. Um, you may be feeling a little bit lost in your manifestations, in your life path. You don't know where to turn to. Um, There is a brand new beginning here available for you. It's coming up soon, probably in the springtime or before then. I'm getting airy season for some of you. And uh, your fears, your triggers, your traumas, will be exasperated when you meet this person. It will it won't be easy for you to open up or to see this person clearly. But I kind of get that um, they have a they have a thick skin. They they know your pain. They know what you've been through. And they love you, or they will love you, you know, unconditionally. It's very powerful. If we look at the individual card pairings, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed and the High Priestess reversed. The Four of Pentacles reversed can talk about opening up, releasing, letting go. And the High Priestess reversed can talk about how you know the fates, the 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 karma, the the uh, what's written, you know. So you may have 
there may have been a predetermined pathway for you, something you felt like you deserved, something you felt like was meant for you. And then that may have felt like that got taken away from you, that that got destroyed in some way. And yeah, maybe it was meant for you. Maybe that was on, supposed to be on your path, but the universe is going to come in and try to balance that out and make it fair for you with the justice card being here. And the lover's card, it's in the form of a, a new relationship, somebody who can open your heart and keep and, and walk through new doorways with you is what I'm hearing. We have the Fool reversed and we have the Star reversed. This could talk about um, the time frame of, a, you know, Aquarius season to Aries season could be when this transpires, which is like right now until, uh, you know, the spring equinox. And uh, the full reverse is about a brand new beginning, one that um, you haven't embarked on yet. It's about taking a risk. It's about, um, you know, innocence as well. It's almost like your innocence has been, you know, taken away from you in a dynamic. And... Um, it's that innocence, it's that desire, that uh, that childlike presence within you that can manifest great things. It's where our truest desires come from. And that often is our compass. That often is where we're le led to different beautiful manifestations in our life. So when we feel like that innocence has been taken from us, it can feel like our compass is gone. We don't know what to desire, what to want, what to look forward to. Um, certain things may have been tainted. You know, love, relationships may be tainted for you. So with the star card being reversed here, it's about feeling lost, needing guidance, and also um, feeling isolated. But it also talks about cleansing and healing, because that is the energy of the star card. It does talk about wish fulfillment and blessings as well. So the Justice card here with the Lover's card, again, it's talking about bringing that relationship for you to balance the skills. Um, we have the, it also is talking about um, that uh, the universe knows that, uh, what you're capable of, okay? They know what you're capable of. You may not know what you're fully capable of, but the universe does. And what they see best is to connect you with this person in order for you to discover what you're fully capable of. It's not saying that you need this person in your life, but they, the universe can recognize that this is going to be the best way forward for you to realize your dreams, your goals, your desires, your gifts and abilities even. Um... That's why it's sacred. That's why the angel is on the lover's card. We have the nine of swords reversed and we have the devil reversed. Um, this is about imagining. This is about fear. You know, both those cards talk about fear. Uh, fearing the worst, feeling, da feeling danger even. Almost like entering a new relationship feels dangerous. When really it's meant to be beautiful. Um, so you def there definitely is wounding here and the Three of Swords highlights that. The Hanged One represents suspension, stillness, uh, a stopping, not moving forward, a pause, holding on, um, or actually detaching, not, not holding on, but detaching. So you may be a little bit detached from this. You might even hear this message and think, oh, who cares, you know? But these are major arcana coming through. You know, most of the reading is the major arcana. And um, it, a lot of the minor arcana that are in the reading, you know, the Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, talk about the mind, talk about wounding and fear, uh, needing for healing, deep traumas. We have the Four of Pentacles uh, reverse, which talks about keeping your heart chakra open, releasing and letting go. So it's almost, a, you're, it's almost like your body, your 
emotions and everything are in a state of releasing right now. It's not even, whether you're doing it on purpose or not, it's, it has to come out. It, it can't stay inside anymore. These fears, these anxieties, these, you know, nervous system traumas, these memories even, um, they're just, they have to come out. They have to be healed. And the, and the universe kind of sees this and is thinking, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you could heal these with another person, you know? instead of having to do it all on your own. Because you may have gotten to a point where like you've worked and been able to work through and even push down and and cover up and disconnect from these feelings and thoughts up until a certain point. But now it's just, it's all come to the surface now. It's all, you know, has to be dealt with now. It, there's no more room left for you to like push these feelings and emotions down and away. So, um, with the hanged one being the outcome and the high priestess card reversed at the future position, they both talk about the psyche, about intuition, and about enlightenment. And uh, how spiritual this process is for you. This is a very spiritual connection. A sacred love that is to help you heal. Okay. Well, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.